Steven Subject experience. I'm Steven Subject. This is my experience today. I'm gonna be doing the unthinkable. I'm gonna be doing the thing that a lot of YouTubers have already done, so it's not really that unthinkable. I'm gonna be going through my oldest videos and trying to not cringe. Now, before this was the Steven Subject experience, you may not have known, I did Minecraft. Let that sink in. I did a lot of Minecraft. Played it, animated it. That was really about it, but I think that's more than enough. So let me just plop on these headphones and let's let this terrifying journey commence. Now, all I have to do is go to my video manager, go to... All right, so my oldest video is actually a pilot for an animation. It's not exactly the cringiest thing in the world. Like it's, it's supposed to kind of be cringy. This is the very first Let's Play or any sort of gaming commentary or any personality-based video that I've ever done. What's up? Yo. What's up and welcome to the Hunger Games as presented by... Pretty legit, there's a bunch of Hunger Games. Um, there's a bunch of Hunger Games. Like, My grammar is impeccable. Games. How many years ago was that? Four years ago. Hey, what's up, Reed? What's up? Why am I doing comment? this voice? Uh, proper grammar. Proper grammar. Proper <laughs> grammar. Gerber burbers. up for Oh, why did I ever think that was funny? This is some deeply nerdy shit. What is with me in that voice? How did I even close this video out? Well, you know what? Still had the same sort of uh doesn't matter mentality that I do now. That's great. Let's take a look at Learn to Play Happy Wheels. This is me playing by myself. This was the very first Let's Play I did on my own. It's a death! Pseudo anger for the sake of entertainment. Ooh. Jump you vegetable! I'm doing the Nicole Arbor yell whisper in this. Well, I was still very racist. Here was the first video I ever did in real life. This was supposed to be the first ever podcast type thing. You can tell how excited I am, how much of a host I am. Next question is, how the hell old are you? I'm 19. How old are you, Bert? Oh my god, I was 19 back then. Oh, right. Um, I was linked on Vsauce a long time ago. Well, let's go on an internet journey real quick. Vsauce. I think this is one of the ways that I actually originally got my start on YouTube. So, welcome to Steven Subtech YouTube history. One of my animations was featured on this video right here, actually. My, oh, okay, so my friend Tim submitted this to Vsauce. He watched Vsauce back in the day, and they put it in this video, which was fantastic. One of the very first animations that I ever made was called The Crafting Dead. It was based off of a series called Wild Adventures. If you don't know what Wild Adventures is, it's uh, the not the longest running series that I have, but the one that I was most known for back in the day. And I know a lot of people right now are curious, where has that gone considering the rebranding and everything? I'm still trying to find an animator to pick up where I left off. So once I can do that, then I don't know. And I don't know how much that's going to cost. And I don't know how much time it's going to take. That doesn't really matter because as long as it gets done right, more about the cost. But if you guys have an animator to suggest, I, I'm more than happy to continue writing. It. And so just let me know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe I won't even release it on YouTube. Maybe I'll release the entire series on a separate. I don't. Why wouldn't I put it on YouTube? I have terrible ideas. That was how I got my start. So you can see the right side of my face right here. Actually, if we zoom in on it, you'll notice just a huge red mark. Now, this was where I skidded on my face from going downhill on a bike. I had that throughout real life videos from then on. Now, if you'll notice from this video right here, it's a, my very first sketch that I ever did. It's called Monday Morning, and it really put me on the map. Uh, if you think I'm ugly now, just wait until you see this. I'm I'm a gross vagrant. Just just wait until I pull the blankets off my face. What? That actually sort of looks the same. Damn it. Look at my hair. Look at my bulbous face. No exercise. Junk food. Look at this. Look at my complexion. Look at my chubby ass cheeks. And for the winning shot right here. Look at this. Okay, so as you can see on the right side of my face, on my cheek, there's some dry skin from my uh, lack of knowledge surrounding facial cleansing, scrubbing, facial facial cleansers, facial scrubs, and moisturizers. Uh, my eyebrows are just as unkempt then, then as they are now, and my teeth are just as yellow as ever. Here we have another one of my original skits. Check out how disfigured my body is, along with my khaki shorts, green shirt, same editing style. Not much has changed there. In fact, I may have gotten worse over the years. That was back when I lived with the BAM Lounge crew. Look at this. Let's pause and take a moment and look Look at this. So let's check out the curvature of my face. You'll notice it's a more of a circle than an oval. Now, my head takes up about 5% of my body at this point. The rest of it is just 95% torso and legs. 70% of that being legs are as long as they are skinny. And my wingspan is like this. Really did not fill into my body yet. I still don't think I have all the way. 
So this was the, this was a promotional video for Bam Lounge back in the day. Check this shit out. That was me. Holy shit. Besides the point. I was tan back then, kind of. So check out my ability to cut off the entire top of my forehead. Production quality was not my strong suit back in the day. Okay, supposedly this video is incredibly awkward, it says by the title. Look at that hair. Look at how greasy it is. It's greasier than it is now. Okay, so this video is essentially me watching my friend work out. Actually, you know what? I've done weirder videos lately. Now if you'll skip to 1 minute and 35 seconds in. Okay, I'm not really, I don't feel like I haven't changed that much, to be honest. And here was the video that changed everything for me. It's called the Stouffer song. Do I give them to a friend? No, I'm only interested in supporting myself. I know all the lyrics because I wrote it. Kind of getting me inspired a little bit to write another song. You know, all in all, I can't help but feel like I used to make better videos. This was really more of a learning experience than a cringe fest. I need to rehabilitate myself. I need to put myself in YouTube rehab and bring back some of the inspiration and creativity that I had from the start. How do I do that? Maybe I just need to rewatch more of my old videos and try to see who I used to be and remember my past. That must be the trick with all, they always say, don't forget your roots. They always say, they say if a tree has flower with the roots and manure, so you gotta, with the roots and the, the, you gotta put the tree and the roots in them. They say a gypsy only lasts seven days. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>